And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dawn of Alderton. I am Dave, here with Sputter Media, and I'm about to introduce our GM for this game, DM Snack King Joe. Take it away, Joe. What do you got for us tonight? Oh, I have... Oh, shit, my bag's empty. No, I'm kidding. We're totally prepared for tonight. <laughs> uh, I spent a bunch of hours the other day not sleeping and preparing because my mind was... Uh, racing on what to do after we've uh, finished this combat. Uh, but we're in the middle of a fight, so I'm going to stop talking because I'm not that important. I'll be talking the rest of the next two hours. Let's jump right into my favorite people, the cast, right after the fans. You're not numbered in any way in my head. I love all of you very much. Uh, but Zasha, <laughs> take us away. Hey, didn't you have a question Thank for us do. tonight, Joe? Oh, oh, right. I'm totally skipping. Yeah. Uh, tonight's question <laughs> is, what <laughs> is <laughs> your top karaoke song? Uh, and again, Zasha, take it away. Sorry. All good there, DM. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, guys. My name is Mitch. I play Zasha Beeson's, uh the party's uh, friendly neighborhood dragonborn cleric. Um, and yeah, you can find me on uh, on various platforms as IC Wiener, Doobie underscore Daddy, or as just as Mitch D. And Fun fact, I don't do karaoke very often. The last time I did it, I sung uh, Superstition by... Uh, Oh, God. Stevie Ray Vaughan? I'm blanking. <laughs> no, not Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, God. Well, I'm oh, blanking the OG on air. Superstition. The, superstition. the OG Stevie Superstition. Wonder? None of this cover. Stevie Wonder, thank you. <laughs> I'm not up on karaoke. I was just about to write hey, a was... blind guy. Yeah, it... <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan for Stevie Wonder. Man, yeah. that's, a... <laughs> that's, that's, that's a horrifying nightmare yeah. fuel AI image. It starts with us, but there you go. That, that, uh, thank you, DM. Appreciate it. Thank you, Zasha. And let's jump right to our shyth member, Clover. Hey. Such a good reputation. Hi, everybody. I'm Emily, the shyest member. I play Clover, the uh, sprite artificer. And on Tuesdays, I also am in the Cybernates campaign. Um... um you know, as with my personality, you'd expect I don't do much uh, karaoke. The last time I did karaoke, it was at this religious-themed bar, and they did pipe organ karaoke, and I did Ignition Remix by R. Kelly. That is amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will give you a double inspiration to do a whole verse right now. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. I'm not before that happens. I'll, I'll take you up on that for my song, DM. Yeah, I know you will. That's why you didn't get the offer. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right. And our, our fun little rogue, Deirdre. Who's muted. <laughs> I know, it's so terrible. I didn't get called the newest player this time. That's kind of exciting. Yay. My name is Bailey. Uh, you can find me at Gypsy 25 on Instagram. I am not a sneaky rogue, just so everybody knows. <laughs> um, right now, my favorite karaoke song, my go-to, because I technically have like 10 different favorites, but my go-to lately has been Fireflies by L City. Oh, let's go. All right. You would not believe your eyes. Okay, I'm done. Ten million fireflies. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. That's a good right. one. <laughs> All right, and let's jump up to our uh, other sneaky character, Lucian. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Eric, playing Lucian. Uh, the changeling, uh, you know, dirty job doer, if you will. Uh, you can find me at Nagatsu underscore Seiken pretty much everywhere. Feel free to hit me up. And uh, believe it or not, I have never done karaoke. Not once. But I can tell you what my go-to song would be is uh, Rosenrote by Rammstein. Mm. Oh, oh, God. All right. I have to hear that at one point. Yeah. That's why I... Thank you. <laughs> uh, and let's, well, you know what? Let's jump to our bards, Ethereal. Thank you, DM. Welcome, uh, what's up, chat? Uh, my name's Ryan. I'll be playing Zethariel Brightsong, the team's resident bard. 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter or on Instagram at Kundalini Pasta. Um, I played this character because I definitely do karaoke. Um, usually, my go-to song is "Use Me" by Bill Withers. Is the first song I go to during karaoke. I fucking love Bill Withers. Yes, sir. That song slaps. <laughs> And we will jump to the man in the chair, the man in the clouds, up on high. Not DM Dave, just ever in this campaign. Yes, yes, I am Dave. You can find me at Dave's World Games on Instagram. I'm uh, drawing up a storm lately, so if you want to check out some of my uh, AI artwork, I, especially with my new system, it is churning out some pretty baller stuff. Now that I've got an N-Force GDA, uh, 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 G-Force NVIDIA uh, GPU handling uh, the overweight of the processor, it's just like, ah! Anyway. So yeah, I play Severin. I am the, uh, the monk slash uh, um, uh, possible avatar to a deity of Ilmeter. And, and I am usually the Debbie Downer of this entire party because everybody, like, feels like they just got to go along with me because I am uh, this, you know, heir to the throne or some shit. Like, that's important. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Or chose to. Uh, well, I... Yes... <laughs> I mean, there's there. I feel like there's a bit of like people have like a cross between obligation and choice, right? Uh, if we're gonna go back to uh, the Matrix, the choice is an illusion, right? Uh, <laughs> there is no spoon. There is no spoon. But yeah, let me get to Joe's question about the karaoke. And I was thinking about this because I'm like uh, Zath, where I just gotta have. I have a freaking huge repertoire of songs that I like to pull out. And I was thinking on it and I was like, wait, what's the one that I can always fall back to no matter what? And that's the one I'm going with. And that is how long, how long will I slide? I'll separate my side. I don't, I as don't believe it's bad. A slit in my throat, it's all I ever... Yeah, so I'm a huge uh, Chili Peppers fan, and I can always pull out Other Side, no matter what. Like, no matter how drunk I am, or how late it is, or how many drinks I've been, or whether or not I did some, like, shouting-ass freaking uh, death metal rock the, the, the last <laughs> set or whatever, I can still pull out Other Side, no matter what. So that's my answer. And then, uh, how about I just here. give a quick little shout out while I still have the mic for a second? Sorry, DM, to our sponsor, Dubby Energy Drink. It is the energy oh, of hail the future. Dubby. Hail Dubby! Yes, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we 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 pretty much live on this shit. This stuff is not like ju this show is legit produced by Dubby, not because they're giving us a ton of money, but but we are all literally like pounding this shit every again. day. We perform. I know like most of us swear by it. So, uh remember you can use uh code purple nurple at checkout to get 10% off your order and I'm going to pop the link right there in our chat so that you guys have uh, access to it you can click on that link and uh, get your awesomeness replace that coffee with coffee fruit extract alright I'm done of the future. thank you Dave uh, so uh if you don't know, uh, from listening to me talk every week, huge carry, huge center spotlight kind of guy right here. Uh, I have a boundless repertoire of songs, um, but if I had to choose my number one top song, I have two picks because one, I, me and my friends loved. They're all shy, but they'll do karaoke like it's no business. Uh, our number one top group song is Motley Crue's Dr. Feelgood. We just belted out like we're the, the crew mm. itself. If I'm going solo, nice. I take it a completely different direction, and I do Somebody Love by Queen, and I have made people cry, including myself while singing. Nice. Thank you. 
But uh, let's jump right back Somebody into it. We are going to uh, jump maps. And who would like to give us our recap before we start the fight back up? Zasha. I can Zasha. Zasha. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can get. I can do the recap. Um, could you condense I could use the, the inspiration? Giant, yeah, could you condense the giant post you made though? Because that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just a, my amalgamation of notes. Um, so, friends, last last we left off, we had just uh, just arrived at the caravan that is going to lead us to. The southeast heading towards Cloudshire. We met up with a bard named Fibblebabble, who, although uh, identifies, of course, as one entity, uh, is actually two goblins stacked on top of each other. Uh, <laughs> the party had various feelings about it. Some couldn't help but just stare. Others moved on and uh, knows what's going on. Um, and yeah, so upon meeting them, uh, we agreed. We ended up loading up heading off from the city there were some conversations in between um turns out uh zath and deidre know about bibble babble and know know a little bit of information about him he's come up that he's a bit of a controversial com uh, comedian and tends to how to put it <laughs> tends to bring an interesting crowd to most of his shows but ultimately they know how to scrap we need a way out so here we are um as we we're going uh, about a week in, six days in, we ended up seeing something kind of odd in the distance. Upon asking the driver and getting a spyglass put out, he matter-of-factly said, Oh, those are marauders. They're going to attack us. Lovely. Okay. So now, uh, after hearing that, Severin and Zasha have a little talk about, you know, whether these guys are baddies, whether they deserve to have pain, you know, usual monk cleric stuff. And Severin decided to go full charge, full cavalryman on his own, off the cart. Starts out, heads out, Zasha starts running after him, huffing and puffing, and the rest of the party follow along. We end up getting to a house with a nice little clearing and uh, a valley, which you might see on stream right now. And after some preparation, some people go into the flanks, some spells were cast, we ended up in combat. Um, just some little side things that are in combat that uh, people may have noticed. Um, Clover has a deadly a poison attack that she's just brought out, totally melting one of these guys. Deidre like has some... these guys. <laughs> yeah, like three of these guys. Deidre has some ghostly powers and is able to pass on the pain of her various attacks. Uh, <laughs> Lucian uh, has shown us the power of catapult and good positioning. So, <laughs> ooh, those guys, very deep. <laughs> Um, Severin's doing his monk thing, you know, kicking ass over there, three attacks at a time. And, uh, yeah, and, and Zasha has finally revealed his breath weapon, a very loud, uh, mind-melting shout. And last we left off, I was getting my butt kicked. I believe we ended at round three, uh, and some attacks just landed on me. Take it away, DM. Thank you, thank you. So we left at the end of round three, and we are picking out the start of round four with our favorite little sprite, Clover. Yes, all right. So everybody around here. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. Familiar yourself, with your eyes, familiar yourself with your eyes with the, the battlefield. It's been a week. Yeah, the, the first time I'm not happy to be first in initiative to be honest <laughs> uh, but everybody will... thinks going first is the best but you know what sometimes going last gives you the most options <laughs> yeah like a lot we... more time to think, think about things so I feel like we've got the the top half of the battle like kind of rounding up but delusions in some trouble down here <laughs> yeah i think Clover might just dash towards Lucian. Now that I, will, I think I will, Sasha's Sasha and Tears are pretty badass. Well, hold, I'll, I'll remind you that spells have range before you start doing a full dash. <laughs> I'll be merciful, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't okay. make it sound like a chore or nothing. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I can't even see 
Lucian on my screen. I'm having to look Zoom because out. of my vision, so I don't know if I'd be able to cast. Can you see now? Hold on one <laughs> second. Uh, all right, Barry. Can you? Can you? Oh, you, you still can't see him. If you move, can you see him? I, I adjusted your range. Apologies. You're not in the initiative. Oh, I can't move. Hold on, I got you. That was weird. It looked like somebody clicked end turn or something. All right. Well, it's do you. You want me to move Clover up to the top then? Oh. Or you got that. Never mind. There and then you're going to have to, uh, yeah, you're going to have to back back up to Clover. There you are. You're on it. You're on it. All right. Sorry. I, I update your vision. You should be able to move and potentially see him with the correct vision. Okay, great. He's out oh, down this way, right? Uh, towards yes. uh, the other Southern direction. I see him. Map. Oh shoot! That what it, we got the tr combat tracker in the yeah, way. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it. Give me a second. That's my fault. Sorry, everyone. This is why we take four sessions of prep, <laughs> right? <laughs> and not talk, not talk about karaoke for twenty minutes. Uh, Clover, you go ahead and continue with your turn, though, as we are uh, handling the tech issues. Oh, okay. Yeah, but. Sounds great. Uh, despite otherworldly advice, Clover's just gonna dash. <laughs> you are free to do as you want. So, 60... Nah, go the other way. Go right a little bit. No! <laughs> hey! Come on. What happened to being merciful? <laughs> that was before combat started. <laughs> uh, it is going to... By the way, uh, fixing it is going to reload the application. It's gonna do a refresh. So, uh, how about let let Clover finish her turn and then I'll click it while you're. Uh, Clover just dashed. That's the the turn. All right, let me refresh right, it then. Cool. And when we come back from the refresh, it'll be Deirdre's turn. Deirdre gets okay. a ton of time to figure out what the f she wants to do. That's fine either... to me because I've been ready to do what I wanted to do next for seven days. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So, I, I'm so, glad to so, hear that. Deirdre, I know you had a question about uh, your sneak attack. So whenever you have advantage on your attack roll is when you can apply sneak attack. Or if so, there is an ally within five feet of the target. Or if I otherwise had advantage. I read up on it. I talked to a couple people about it. I had a misconception about it that I realized later was a misconception. I do have another question, though. Do I have to use all my movement at once, or can I use half my movement and then half my movement again? Yes. Like move, act, and move? Yes. Okay. The 5e is very forgiving on how you spend your turn, which is fucking awesome. Thanks, yeah, 5e. Is. Some DMs still don't run it that way, so... If I'm some DMs are losers. <laughs> you know, every, every, DM, every DM is fun in their own right, and I shouldn't bash nobody, because I am not perfect. But no, if you're doing that, that's weird. Don't play by those old rules. Like we have, uh, like, those we aren't have even old rules. Like you, you, uh, you, you could use your movement. You could split your movement in in thirty two. Oh, well, I am having happy. yeah, I am having a trouble loading in. FYI, everyone. But it required yeah, a, it required a feat. No, it's 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 gonna it's gonna take a second. It is since it had to completely reload the application. I like how we've broken the battle kind of into three sections. You've got Zasha with the mob that we've pretty much cleared and Deirdre right there with him. You've got Lucian down there 1v6ing and like <laughs> Zath trying to get over to kind of help Severn out to make sure that the ring bearer is spared. You mean somebody was using tactics? <laughs> I got I got a gateway That's timeout. Play heavy campaign, use any sort of battle tactics. You what? I distinctly remember Apex not saying in what state Severn needs to return it. I have spare the dice. 
Which one? <laughs> keep him in, in stasis. Yeah. That keep him was cold. a very heavy sentence. <laughs> player to player. As a DM, <laughs> yes, I am all aboard that train. You play the campaign. I, I set the rules. You play the campaign. I didn't say we couldn't bring him back. I just, you know. I'm more of a paramedic right now. I'm no doctor. Sorry, Dave. You can't build a new character because your current character is currently in a coma. <laughs> RP that for the next seven weeks. Y'all act David like I'm in any RP kind that. of danger right now. Like, yeah. I think if anyone could RP a comatose uh, patient for multiple weeks, I feel like Dave could do it really well. Probably, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Okay. I was, was playing a comatose like a patient level through ninety percent of my marriage. Okay, wow. Now I guess that joke just fucking in. fell flat. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing but gray screen. It's, it's thinking about it. Yeah, I just did a. I just did a refresh. All right, everyone, uh, lock and load your second karaoke picks. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Oh. Man, I you know uh, no scrubs by TLC. Yes, dude, go. let's go. go. I feel like you would like like low key kill that and get everyone hyped. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, I, like, I, like, like, like you, really you, you get on the stage, all like shy and timid, and you just start going with it, and everyone's like, oh, because I am hype after hearing that response. <laughs> Me too. Uh, all right, I'm back in. Is anyone else back in? Deirdre is. I'm still loading for me. Yeah, oh, I'm still man. waiting. I'm a little bit of a better screen. All right, Deirdre, if you're in, go ahead and take your turn. Yeah, that's a that's a fair play. Let her take her turn, but it is still refreshing on the uh, stream view as well. Oop, there we go. Kind of. I see dice. I see a nat twenty. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Uh, all, right. all right, so you need to uh, move within range of who you're attacking. I did. I don't see moving on my screen. Oh, I do. I She's standing in the same square. In front square. of the skull to in front of this guy who's next to Zasha. And my, I can't move it again. I'm already there. Yeah, oh, she's no. in the same I'll space as the sacred weapon. I'm going to move back if you want me to. Oh, wait, no. You moved. That okay, no, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. It took a second on okay. my screen. Yeah, roll, uh, roll your damage and roll your D100 to see what the freak happens to this person. So don't hit critical hit, just hit normal? No, hit critical. You crit. Oh, okay. Always hit critical. What? Are you, what? Just making sure. Just you making earned sure. that damage. Know. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> hey, here we 13. go. 13. I'm back in. And a four. And four. I'm back a in. four on a D100. All right, you feel it is imperative to press the advantage no matter the cost. You can choose to gain advantage on all of your attacks against your target until the end of your turn, but if you do so, all enemies have advantage on their attacks, attack rolls against you until the end of your turn. I'm going to pass. That is totally fine. Um, I also want to use my sneak attack. Good idea. Wait. For some reason this week I can't find last features. There we go. It's an extra three points. Do the same target. Do the same target. I don't have any more whales from the grave. I can't do that fun thing anymore. You already shared the pain. And then I'm going to bonus action disengage and move. Freaking rogues. Yeah. Alright, if you're done, go ahead and end your turn. Apologies to the chat. The stream view is taking a little bit more time to refresh than the rest of us. So, um, yeah, I, we know you can't see the map in the rolls, but uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's coming. Uh, please be patient. It's refreshing now. All right, this guy is up. Zasha's got to go. Famous before. 
That's a nat 20. That oh, will no. hit. Oh. Ouchie. Beautiful. Let's go. Come on, Eight one damage. damage. Oof. But, uh, they'll end their turn, and Zasha, it's your turn. You know Clover. Okay. I'm sorry, you know Deirdre moved up and, and whomped on the one directly next to you. Uh, as an FYI. I do. And I also know I am I'm hurting a bit. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do... I'm going to play it smart for right now because I'm hurting. I got beat up. I'm going to do Cure Wounds. I, I can do it at a higher level, right? Cure yeah. Wounds at second level. I really need some hit points, y'all. Says the cleric. Says the cleric. You know it's you know it's not going well when. <laughs> uh, did I just heal the guard? I think I was selected <laughs> on the guard. Huh. Oh no! Uh, oh. I have swapped sides. I have turned on my allies. It's it's okay. Okay, well, 10 hit points. I'm going to add it through my character sheet. I yeah, spent the spell slot. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Okay, um, do I have any bonus actions here? Spiritual weapon? Oh, yes, my hint, spiritual hint, weapon's hint, hint. Yeah, my, my computer's being a little weird. Uh, apologies. It's all right. So, Just thank you, tar GM. Target, target who you want. Cast a spell, but do not spend a charge. All right, thank you. Click your attack. Oh, oh there is a five. Okay. Oof. You know what? I have inspiration from last round. Let's try that. It, Ooh, it hits. hits. It, it hits. hits the guard. Yeah. All right. All damage. All right. I needed that inspiration. Jeez. Yeah. Save that for the next time. Oh, oh I, I, your spiritual. So I'm sorry. What is your spiritual weapon? Oh, my spiritual weapon, as you see, is a uh, uh, a long hammer with a long wooden shaft, and actually kind of a smaller hammer head, but it has a nice hey, war pick on back. the other side of it. So your spiritual weapon does work and just this marauder's head is just crushed in oh uh, yeah anything else for your turn and that's my turn i'm just gonna end my turn that's... and uh i just want to point out that uh chat should now be seeing uh the the map and rolls Not everything good. is uh uh appears to be correct yep looks like it to me Excellent. Well, thank this... you all for your patience. This model's gonna switch things up, and they're gonna shoot at Lucian. <laughs> nope. And that's a miss. Lucian, you're up. Let's see. Uh, this guard down here, would he be in range for me to jump on? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? The one at the bottom center. Yep. The jumping rules, uh, what is it? It's your, uh, it's literally what, your, your, your strength score in feet? Yeah, I think so. And then you get an extra uh, 10 feet for a running start. So, like... Yeah. I'm kind of hoping, though, that with the altitude advantage, that would kind of compensate for Ooh. it. I mean, I, I think that's an entire numbers. DM's call. I'm waiting for him to weigh in. I'm yeah, not going to say shit. Numbers. <laughs> so your strength score determines how far you can jump. You can do a long jump. Uh, you have to move at least 10 feet. Uh, and when you do that, you... 
Uh, all right, whatever. That's stupidness. Roll an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> and rule of cool triumphs the day. <laughs> Oh, hey. shit! Oh, nat 20! <laughs> well, alright. Lucian! Roll, roll me... <laughs> uh, alright. Nat 20, give me a... D8 plus strength modifier roll. Alright. D8 plus strength modifier. Nat 20s are rolling. <laughs> You land square on your target. <laughs> and you knock them prone. Word. <laughs> that does count as your action, though. Would that have provoked attacks of opportunity? I gotta throw that out there. <laughs> Just to be uh, a dick. If he, ha if he hadn't a rolled a nat 20, yes. Okay. <laughs> he, was, he was able to just dodge and weave and land perfectly. Because they all swung, but you were just gone. <laughs> you have a, a movement and bonus action left, Lucian. Nice. So with that, I'll move up beside this dude. So the pro um, target does get an attack of opportunity against you. So, uh, just move yourself back real quick. But it'll be at disadvantage, right? right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just swinging at your feet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and move. They, they just, they stab wildly with their spear and nothing hits. Let's see. Let's see, can I do a cantrip for bonus action? Depends on the cantrip, but most of them no. Okay. Uh, I was thinking firebolt, but no, that's definitely there's, an action. There's two okay. cantrips that are bonus actions, but they require you immediately using your uh, action to do some sort of attack. So uh, I'm gonna say no. All right, that's fair. In that case, I'm just gonna try and sweep the leg on the uh, flame guardian. See if I can't knock his ass prone too. All Is cantrips are bonus action? actions with meta magic. <laughs> Can you make a sweep attack as a bonus action? That's another action, right? Uh, no, well, no, no. Just, it would be if if he was again. trying to do a trip attack. It would be uh, an opposed athletics. Ch or, or uh, it would it when you're trying to do special maneuvers, you attack to hit, and you don't deal damage. You instead do the special maneuver. But so, like, if you're trying to use your spear to trip the guy, you 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 roll to hit, and then instead of dealing damage, you you do your athletics check to tri trip. What him. is that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But the question is, can he do that as a bonus action? No, not unless he has an attack as a bonus action. Um, you have. Okay. All right. In that case, I'll just end my turn here. All right. All right. We know what Lucian's doing next turn. <laughs> This guard is effing pissed. And just <laughs> climbed up here. <laughs> He's throwing his spear. <laughs> misses. Let's come on, oh, dude. Can I, can these... Keep rolling the way you're rolling, GM. Keep rolling the way you're rolling. We love it. We love these rolls. This guy's throwing a spear. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Barely, right. no. Nope. This... Can't touch him. <laughs> hey, hey, one, there he is. Hey. <laughs> Good job, guy. Take four damage from a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the GM sounds salty. <laughs> All right, Severn, get yourself out of this mess. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, um, I'm going to do some really cool monk shit. Um, just as soon as I fix the damn uh, display on the map, because mm -hmm. it's not next to... It's not... There we go. Here I am! Anything All right. I can. 
So, uh, I am going to, uh, as my action, <laughs> yes. I am going to use uh, my key points to do um, uh, the, the self-healing um, optional uh, thing. The quickened healing. So No, I think it'd be cool if you didn't heal. No? <laughs> Just saying. Um, I mean, you, you play your character and how you think they're playing. Oh, actually, cool. no, I'm wrong. I can't do that because I don't have enough key points to do that. It's two key points and I only have one left. So, scrap that. Ooh. I'm just swinging at this mother trucker with my uh, uh, quarterstaff. Let's go. A pal. Pow, wop, slap. Oh, I think that's a hit. <laughs> what? what? I you, don't stop function. rolling. You guys need to start rolling. Up. Oh, max damage. Ooh, max no, damage. damage. And Hell then damage. Uh, I will use uh, I will use my last key point to flurry. So attack number one is a crit. Nat, nat oh, 20. Oh, wow. shit. There we go. Uh, uh, let, uh, should I give 100. you my percentile first? That's a 50 uh, on my uh, crit check. You attempt to disarm your opponent. You are able to take the disarm action after your attack. I will do so, but let me do damage first. And I still have Roll another that. swing. Um, Roll that beautiful beam footage. All right. Um, so that's another uh, uh, nine. nine hit points, and then I will take the disarm action like I'm allowed to, which means I make an opposed athletics. Yes. Yes. Okay. So free opposed athletics. It's not my. Uh... Ooh, could I use acrobatics instead of athletics? Could I be using my dexterity instead of my strength to try and disarm my opponent? That is something that you could work towards as okay. a character, but as currently, no. All right, I accept that. Uh, so I, yeah, so I do not successfully disarm him, do I? Uh, that's all well and good. That's uh, hey, it was a free attempt, right? I still have another uh, uh, flurry attack. hit. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to attack with the second flurry, and uh, that's a hit for. Six points of damage. And then I am going to... Uh, wait, I hold on. Let me double check something really quick. Uh, feet... Mm, yeah, okay. So I am going to run over here. And flank this dude this with Lucian. But this gets, uh, this guy gets attacked by... No, he does correct? not. I have the mobile feet. I attacked him, so because I attacked him this turn, he cannot take attacks of opportunities against me. Mobile is a dope feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, GM. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? Nope, that's it. That was move action and bonus right there. <laughs> Alrighty. End your turn, so let's the Thario go. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I was uh, I, I, I switched, but uh, you're, just end turn for me, please. Thank you. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I had to switch the map. Up. So the goal here is that Zothario still has kinetic jaunt going, so like I'm still like all flowy and movie, right? So the goal I was gonna try to flank and this also guy basically Dave. kinetic jaunt gives you the mobile feed, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> so I I was gonna flank the flame guardian and try to like stab him at before Severin like failed you just, out. So you just saw Severin. Here, you just saw Severin fuck this guy up and wound him in one round. Right. So the goal here is for as Severin bails out, Zathario will dash in, and as this guy is possibly turning maybe to follow Severn or whatever, Zathariel's right there. Um, I'm 
attempting to kind of like be a surprise to this guy and uh, just rape your right to the gut. Roll your attack. Uh, target. Hey. Dun dun Roll dun. This guy's not happy at <laughs> no. all. Anything um, else? Yeah. I'm going to then. I still. I don't provoke attacks of opportunity either because of kinetic jaunt. Yep. Um, so I'm going to move over this way to continue to support Severin and begin to engage Lucian's party. Uh, and as bonus action uh, called uh, Bardic Inspiration to Lucian. So that's this. Nice. Usability. Press the advantage, team. We have them on the ropes. <laughs> the battle yes. will soon be ours. All right, go ahead and end your turn. Tim's pissed. Like, get it over with. <laughs> it would have been so much cooler if I was, like, taking this dude's weapon with me when I ran away from him, but yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Did I end my turn? Yes, you, okay. you did a great job. Uh, this gentleman here surveys the <laughs> battlefield uh, and yells out a whoop, whoop, hey, hey, whoo, and then fucking disappears. <laughs> He's like, screw these guys. <laughs> He's out of there. <laughs> Three guys, I'm, I'm going, going home. home. <laughs> yes. Uh, this gentleman will, will uh, let out the same call and disappear off the map as well. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, listen, not everyone wants to die, but some people do. Uh, this uh, broad is going to run up, snatch his spear off the ground. And is he, is he going to use half of his movement to get up first? <laughs> <laughs> you still got him as prone. Oh, yeah. I didn't want yeah, you to be prone. throwing any attacks oh, with <laughs> He's crawling at me, bro. Like, an army crawl. Bring Freaking it on, ranger crawling across the damn you. battlefield. <laughs> I'll be a miss there. Can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> This guy knows what's up. He knows that call, and he's gonna do what he's supposed to do. And Sasha, you're going down. He grabs the spear. Oh, oh shit! 20. 20. Let's go! Ooh. Come on, guys. You're making the DM take it out on on the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh at least it. I think that like nothing. I I know this chart is the worst. The higher oh. you roll, so that's. Two's not too bad. All right. So with a two, uh, <laughs> they're going to go ahead and take advantage, and all attacks of Ensign will have advantage. Nice. That means he's done for next turn. Deer just going to come through. I, I just growl at him. Essentially, it's a it's it a barbarian's yeah. reckless attack feature that happens. Absolutely. Uh, but they only have the one attack, and they're a dummy. And we're back up to yep. Clover. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Clover's gotten her head on straight just in time for people to, you know, start disappearing. But how tall is this cliff? Fifteen feet. From where you're standing, you can see all three of the uh, the enemies up there. Oh, I totally moving lost closer, where Clover okay. was. We'll, there she is. Moving, cl moving closer will give them uh, percentages of cover versus your attacks if they're ranged. FYI. Well, I'm trying to do. I. Uh, I'm trying to do caustic brew, so I need them in a line. Well, they got a couple of them up there in a the line. So there. So, what's your movement speed? So I have thirty flying movement. Here gives you a line on two of them. And then I would be able to fly up the fifteen feet to get in line to shoot out at them. Kurt? Correct. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she she can move like ten feet and get off all three of them. Uh, oh wait, never mind. I think one of those is Lucian's ghost or whatever that I'm looking at. Yeah, one of them is, is the ghost. 
it's been replaced by one of the standard guards. There are there are three marauders up there. FYI. Oh, yeah. there are three marauders. Okay, okay. okay. There are three. Yes. Uh, oh, how do uh, I? Oh, we had the issue. I don't have a scroll wheel to rotate this. Mm. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to place the measured template for her. You need to move five feet to your left. And you can hit all three of them, technically. And that would be That's... all of your movement if you're okay with it. Yes. Um... Oh, nice. okay. Thank you. Perfect. That's real DM mercy right Perfect. there. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, kind and merciful DM. <laughs> it's not triggering the save. Uh, sometimes it's just delayed. You just it, it might just like be taking its time, but it will. <laughs> What's your save Whoa. DC? Not Clover? three. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be eight plus proficiency modifier. I'm pretty sure the twenty is one. saving. Yeah, the other two are not. So, uh, but they actually with so with, but they don't actually take that damage until the start of their turn or, or each of its turns. It's it, it it it's a it's it's a lingering acid attack, not an immediate damage. It's the the acid damage takes effect on each of its turns as long as she maintains concentration. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, so you're out of actions, out of movement, bonus action, Clover. No bonus actions yet. Coming to be coming soon. Get excited. Deirdre, do Deirdre your ish. Kill. I moved up towards this last guy that's still alive in front of me, and I'm gonna make a rapier attack, and all my attacks have advantage per his choosing to take advantage of that last thingy. <laughs> do I hit? Oh, I didn't target. Damn it. You didn't target. Roll. roll your damage. It hits. Okay. <laughs> he sounds so disappointed, like he was expecting a group of marauders know, right? to be a TPK. <laughs> I'm gonna use my sneak attack as well because I have advantage. Okay, well you killed him, so. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Listen, okay. this battle looked really good for a second, and then I rolled nothing above a five, and <laughs> I got real sad. <laughs> then I'm going to take the rest Very of my movement to move down here by Clover in case she needs some help. He is 15 feet in the air, but yes, you can move. And if I'm you're done. Gone, you can end your turn. That's not what I'm going to press. Okay. All right. This, this dude's going to... Oh, no, that guard that is incapacitated. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Dasha, everything it's around you is dead. dead. What are you doing? I am just so proud of this team. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's already so dead. I'm going to take my 30 feet. I don't really think I can make, make anything right. here, so... <laughs> you, can next, you can get next to the guy that Lucian and Severin is fighting. And I just sprayed, yeah. and FYI, I just sprayed fucking brandy all over my keyboard laughing at what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol abuse! Hold Give on, me ten push-ups! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, well then, uh, coming to coming to get some of the action, what's left of it anyways, I'm going to just straight up Warhammer this guy. Let's go. Nothing too fancy. Let's yes, go. Yeah, seventeen. Uh, Speaking of crushed helms. Oh yeah. Eh. Okay. I've done better, but that's not bad. Dented and then, helms. Um, <laughs> bonus action. Not that I'm sure I'm gonna need it, but I want to move my spiritual weapon here. You can only move twenty feet. 
Yes, yes. But uh, and more. it has to stay within, I think, fifty or sixty feet of you, FYI. Okay. Uh, Whatever um, the range of the spell is, I it can't... has to be that close to him. Uh, yeah, no, it, I can't it, click... it, it specifies within. Oh, it does uh, the spell? It's, it's it's slightly different than the range of the spell, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, yeah, it's you, you play more clerics than I do, so. By Lanthar's light. I can't. How, how do I move it? I can't seem to click and drag or do Where I do have you to, to move recast? It? Oh, you to move yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, the, the uh, token. Uh, you can give him control of the token. But. I'll do that. Let's oh, just put it. Yeah, like right there. It, it's heading towards Clover and Deidre. Help him out. Okay, cool. Anything else? Um, nope. That's action bonus action. And Let your turn. turn. One Ooh. card face down. End my turn. Oh, ho, ho, Yugi. Why is it not giving me the... Oh, no. Oh, my oh, goodness. There we go. I got you. I got it. I got it. I got it, DM. Thank you. All right. This guy's looking around. He is going to uh, target you, Zasha. Zasha, you should now have control oh. of the spiritual weapon. Just for future reference, uh, you should be able to move it now. He's going okay, to let out a... Uh, uh, Death cry and activate uh, a flame blade and attack you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this will give him advantage on his attack. <laughs> oh, ow. And... As long as it wasn't another 20. Jeez. Taking it out on me there, DM. I did the recap. Uh, that should actually have a bit more damage. One second. Yeah, the fire oh, damage, no. too. So ow. That's an additional five damage. You're at five health, Sasha. And oh, it's Lucian's right. turn. I am extra crispy right now. I see chicken sandwich. Lucian, you're up. Yep. And I'm going to take a whack at this dude with my long sword. Whack. With advantage. Flanking. Oh, that's right. Do a crit check. Yeah, crit, crit, crit check. Crit check. Yep. You don't kill this target, somebody else will. Yeah, no crit, but still hits. <laughs> Roll your damage. And make sure you're targeting. Nice. He was not. I don't think he and was targeting. Was he? No, I am. Uh, you would not have the correct thing targeted, but it's dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, there we go. Anything else for your turn? <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> All right, end your turn. Yep. Uh, yeah, at the start of their turn, they take that acid damage. Correct. <laughs> Clover. They, they, Clover. they have heard that rattle before. Uh, they will look to you all, and this guy's going to jump off the cliff. Like, to <laughs> his <laughs> death, <laughs> or <laughs> what? <laughs> They've all gone kamikaze mode. He's, he's just like, screw this. I'm on. Like, I just got acid all over me, so I'm just gonna plunge to my death off the cliff. Fuck this noise. <laughs> that, is, that is exactly what happens. Uh, the first oh gentleman dives off the cliff. No, no arms or anything. And it is such a surreal and bizarre moment that you can't believe it just happened. Like. That German literally just edited himself. Right, and well, and like, oh. and Severin uh, respects him for trying to end suffering, even if it's upon himself. Yeah, there's 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 there is there is no uh, qualms about suicide in my religion. Yes, you ended your suffering. I respect you Damn, for that. Too. Go. <laughs> he looks at him and thinks. What a shame. <laughs> Clover is a little, just like a little scarred from all of this. She just meant to attack them and coerce them to leave, and now every everyone's killing themselves because of her. If if I'm and if I'm reading fair, the situation correctly, we are off. out of combat. Yes, combat is ending because basically no, we have one more. These people yeah, are just vamoosing. Yes. 
Yes, the, the the people that left have safely gotten away. They had, they had jumped on horseback and left. All right, well, uh, Severin's very actually, first no, action. Sorry. What? Oh. No, I'm, I'm sorry. There's actually one person left. Severin, your turn. Uh, so... south of you, there's a gentleman. Uh, okay, he, I'm he, going to just uh, move right here so that I'm flanking with Zath. And then uh, quarterstaff with advantage. That's a hit. Let's go. Yep. Better dun, 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 All right. Severin dun, 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 moves to the place and with a perfectly place strike of his quarterstaff to the, the head of this last um, router, combat has ended. Well, I am still going to finish my uh, movement, my turn. I'm going to come right back immediately over to Zasha, and then I am going to target him with my stigmata. And so uh, I am going to spend... As, as you reach up his hand, be like, if... If they're done, I, I think I'm okay. I no, got, no, no, I mean, no, 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 it doesn't matter. Like, like this is happening. Oh. Um, <laughs> Jesus, like, uh, no consent, you're getting healed. Wounds, <laughs> wounds start opening up all over Severin's body. I'm going to use all 12 of my remaining hit points. Now, one of the things that, ha if, if, if I take enough damage to drop myself to zero, I instead drop to one and become unconscious. So, Zasha, you regain six hit points. And then Severin passes out and starts meditating for a short rest. <laughs> and that, Do you get and that, is the perfect, and that is the perfect spot to take our, our fucking uh, mid-session break. I just wanted to say is that Thario made it through that without taking any damage. So as battle concludes with a brilliant <laughs> flourish of his rapier, just, like cleans the blood off onto the, onto the grass and resheathes it. Like they never had a chance. <laughs> so uh and then severin is at one point and unconscious and i will just go ahead and adjust myself accordingly honestly easier to manage while unconscious i mean <laughs> <laughs> so uh unless somebody heals me i'm essentially just going to be short resting and i'm going to burn all probably all of my hit dice in the process but also regain my key points so yeah i i i i, I knocked myself out on purpose to rest <laughs> hey that's totally fine and like i said we're gonna take our our mid-session break uh and when we come back we'll deal with the ramifications of severin being severin <laughs> <laughs> but i'm taking my short rest dm I'm, I'm burning my hit dice just just for the record oh i only needed hey, to burn three of my four Excellent. If that, uh, so we will uh, conclude our uh, first half of the session with everyone taking a, a, a short rest. You can spend your hit dice to heal yourself if you need to. Uh, but when we come back, we will deal with player actions of healing each other, or administering potions, or being like, Oh my god, he's passed out. Let's move his body or something. Um, but uh, time for our mid-session break. All right. We will see you guys Thanks all here, in we 10 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you very much for your patience. And I'm going to kick it right back off to our DM, Snack King Joe. All right, let's pick it back up where we left off. Excellent. Welcome back from the break, everyone. Oh, excuse me, once I got out of the burp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, thank you. Well, that was disgusting. Thank you so much for that patience. Uh, since you all have defeated the band of marauders, whoever is taking notes, please be ready. You find two breastplates, seven chain shirts, nine shields, two heavy crossbow bows with 35 bolts, two long swords, and six spears. 
I yeah, mean, I know you said t somebody be ready to, to copy, but you spoke really fast, and I also want to remind you that you can... starting at nine shields. You, 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 you can I copy and paste all that into lore. That's what I was going to remind you. you. I mean, come on. Somebody okay. invented that command for a reason. All right. Anyway. I spoke as slowly as possible. Um, you also that got was slowly seven. as possible. Listen, I talk a mile a minute. You're you're lucky you can understand me half the time. That's true. You also found amongst the corpses, and this will all be put into lore before the end of the session. You found sixty gold pieces and sixty seventy uh, sixty silver pieces. Mm -hmm. Don't we have a party treasury? Wouldn't we put it all there instead? Yes, I did create a channel for party treasury. Thank you for reminding us. <laughs> Excellent. I will uh, put everything into party treasury. Uh, what are y'all doing? Oh, I was unconscious for at least an hour. Is that all, like, normal-sized armor? Uh, yes, it's all size for a medium creature. So okay. what's happening with the uh, the band of people that we sprinted away from our caravan? Are they rejoining us, or are we looting before we get to that? There was a separate group of marauders that advanced upon them. You will have to decide as a group what you're doing after looting. Can we see the arrow that I left behind when I shot earlier? Uh, roll a perception to see what's happening, and Deirdre, please repeat yourself. Oh. Sure, I want to retrieve my arrow that I shot at somebody earlier so that I have a full quiver of arrows. You can it's only recover. Thing. You can only recover half of what you sh actually shot as per per roll. Damn it! I only shot one arrow, and <laughs> half of one is zero. Roll a d one hundred. Uh, while she's rolling out of character, I want to suggest, I know my character is actually unconscious, so I can't suggest this out loud, but just throwing this out there to the party in general, it's going to be really cumbersome if you start grabbing, like, the ra like there's going to be a lot of enemies with breastplates and leather armor and spears and blah, blah, blah. You We don't really need to bog ourselves down with that shit. Counterpoint, you, you have yeah, half of a stuff. counterpoint, you have half of a wagon that has maybe a small handful of personal items that you could put the loot there. Yeah, right, right. but uh, even, even so, we like it's we can fill it with the wagon with it. We also have an artificer with us that could use some shit to tinker with. Yeah, no, if no, I'm not I'm saying for anything don't. on this battlefield, then I'm looking for whatever my cut of the gold is, and maybe if there's a rapier that looks nicer than what I'm already carrying, I would grab that. But the rest of that is up for you guys. And there's nothing in that that he listed. I don't think that Zath would be exactly fiending over. I would just be interested in the spear and the breastplate, and I only need one of each. Right, exactly. If there's something that you can actually use, grab it, but I wouldn't, like... We don't need to have a list of like nine breastplates we grabbed because that's gonna Word it, be sell it, You know. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's great if you're really close and nearby to some place to sell. Yeah, excellent. While so these, I, while I, these I, guys I, are arguing. Uh, well, what's our well, perception? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your perceptions. Uh, I will say if anyone's taking any of the loot from the battle, put it into the party treasury chat so we know what is actually being taken. I will always assume gold, gem, and magical items are taken unless specifically said otherwise. Right. With your perceptions, you see that the rest of your caravan has successfully um, defended against the rest of the marauders, and they have rode off into the horizon. The marauders did, or the caravan? The marauders did. Oh, you okay, will cool. be able to easily go join back with your caravan. Fantastic. Uh, since we are talking cool? about loot, uh, I think this is a good time to mention that just because Severin has taken a vow of poverty does not mean everybody else gets bigger shares of treasure. It specifically says in my uh, class that I have to be uh, charitable, and that means, like, I still get my share of the treasure. I'm just going to be giving it away like I did those 25 gold pieces at the beginning. 
So, to be clear, there is a donation box upon the caravan that you, you know, would know for a fact goes right into Bibble Babble's pocket. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be donating it to that. I would be, like, okay. literally, specifically finding poor and downtrodden people and just giving my gold away when I get the opportunity. There is uh, a couple of other people uh, on the caravan, but you would probably save these earnings till you got to a settlement. Yeah, basically. exactly. I would be looking for people who are... Uh, specifically, it's the people who have poverty thrust upon them that I am interested in changing, right? Because uh, I've chosen a, a life of asceticism, but other people in this world don't get the choice, right? So that's kind of where my focus is, is on making those people who have had it thrust upon them uh, have easier times. Always fun at parties. Yep. <laughs> Here, smoke my drugs. <laughs> um, all right. before we leave all these corpses behind is there anything remarkable are these just marauders or is like are these are these anyone of note do we recognize any like colors or uh or like sigils or anything do we know from whence I, these I people will came? allow anyone who didn't or so Zatharo and Zasha yeah. you both roll perceptions anyone else that wants to roll perception to see what they see naturally please give me that roll now all right. I will eat Zathariel and Zasha. You beat the DC for information. I'm just adding, looking if anyone else is interested. I before I roll, I need to ask: uh, Would is this happening yeah. before or after I woke up? <laughs> uh, this could very easily uh, have happened before, during, and after you're waking okay, up. Okay, so, so I'll take the roll. Lucian, are you? Oh, you roll. Sorry. Yeah, I Jesus. Did a roll and used my uh, inspiration. So, uh, as you are not necessarily disrobing, but unequipping these weapons and armors from all the different sources and checking pockets and whatnot, you all notice that there is a very obvious um, tattoo on all of these people. Hmm. It is a Grim Reaper with a, uh, a, a Sith, a cycle, uh, sickle, sickle. Thank you. Words are hard. I appreciate that. A sickle, um, and on, underneath the sickle on the left side of the tattoo is an S A. -A. The script is the same script as Old Alarim's A. Excellent. You I can, would you, like you to can... make a history check. Uh, well. Before you make a history check, you would be able to connect. You had heard about the Sons of Aelorim previously, mm -hmm. and you can put together that this is the tattoo of the Sons of Aelorim. Without all of us check. know this, yeah, this is something you all would be like, "Oh shit, these are the Sons of Aelorim." So <clears throat> but they're functioning as marauders. It's interesting that like this is a band of them, like just. Yeah. This might be an insight side. check, but well, this could be a tar have been a targeted attack, not a random uh, uh, highwayman thing. I would I would say anyone who's interested in more information, please roll me a history check. All right. Anyone who wants Jesus to roll Christ, an insight, can I roll give today? Me after the after the history. Uh, history, history, Fuck. history. Why am I just like? Getting like fives and you shit spent, on all my spent, skill you checks. You spent too much time at the monastery. Right, but history know, is specifically one of my times, proficient sorry. skills. Thariel wrote three histories. Uh, should have just one. been. You could take the first one. I sorry, I didn't mean to roll it three times, but no, it's fine. afterwards. That's better. I will say, anyone who's interested in rolling an insight about the attack can. Mm, I did want to do oh. that. Yep. Hey. Alrighty. Dice, 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 oh. dice. We'll start with the history check. Clover and Deirdre. You both know, um, just from traveling the land and, and living living here, or by being non-human, you've been included in some, some extra information. The Sons of Aelorim is this country-wide cult that wish to bring about the 
the the same rule old Alarim had. You know, very anti-human, uh, anti anti-non-human. I'm I'm sorry, uh, very pro-human, and they're what's the word? Not um, bigots. Ethos. Well, yes, they're bigots, but their their uh, their reach. <coughs> is ah, much influence. larger than people understand mm. there are there are common folk that benefited under old Aelorim and now that Titus is in charge they are struggling more than they ever had and it's not because they're racist it's because like you know, under old Aelorim like m my belly was full and my roof was fixed under Titus my roof is fixed but my belly is mostly empty and it's not necessarily a you would you would understand that's not necessarily a a race based faith, but it's more of like I need to survive and under old Aelorim I was able to very easily. Make Aelorim great again type mm -hmm. of beat. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Like they don't they don't there's people that don't wish harm upon the other races, but because old Aelorim was the way he was, they were plentiful. And that is the kind of vibe for the country outside of Aelrim City. Moving on Inside with our check. insight checks. All right, so uh, Clover and Lucian, you're like fucking marauders. Oh shit! And their sons of Aelrim. Uh, oh shit! We got loot. Hell yeah! Let's count these coins. <laughs> Moving on, Deirdre, you're, you you. You look at Severin, you look at this the Sons of Aelorim, you literally are less than a week away from the city. You don't know what to feel, but you don't feel comfortable. Everyone else, Zasha, uh, Zathariel, and Severin, your caravan is a fucking target. And there's nothing you can do about it, because you were, you, like, you, you, you understand that you were in the city eyes were on you that you didn't know were on you and now that you're outside of the city those eyes they're still fucking on you like you we're... are being watched you can leave this caravan but you're leaving the safety of numbers um, where's hibble sibble at is he with the caravan still well let's see what the group wants to do after all this information i would say uh personally i I would take the time to ask everybody to uh, let's let's have a let's have a sit down chat. As stealthily as I can, I want to take one of these tattoos off of one of these bodies and save it for future reference since I don't have paper to draw it on. Roll oh, me yeah. a survival check. Fucking metal. <laughs> Do you have a weapon that does slashing damage? Oh, I absolutely do, but that was, was a terrible check. You do also have a tar a tattoo artist in our group that could probably commit this to memory. I will allow you to make one reroll, but if that reroll isn't better, you have to take it. Fuck you! Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, do you do you remember yes. watching fucking Underworld One, where they're like, <laughs> "Look at this perfectly preserved fucking tattoo"? You just did that shit, you effing era, fucking. Yeah. Good job, Tia. Good. Thank you for giving me advantage, basically. So you're uh, all talking and, and discussing things, and you're just like, "I've got this tattoo with me," and you're like, "What she the said, fuck?" She did say stealthy, yeah. right? Yeah. Her just kind of looks at her like, you know, I could have, you know, drawn that. There's I, no way to be. Uh, so I will tell you, there's no way to stealthily cut a tattoo off of someone in front of your party in this area. <laughs> you, you, may, you, may, you, you don't alert them till you're done, but when you're done, you're like, I got it. And everyone's like, oh my god, she's fucking metal. She's helping that guy. <laughs> so Severin did ask for a sit down. You, you do know you have maybe 10, 15 minutes to sit and talk before you have to start moving towards the caravan. Otherwise, I'll leave you. But As a... in, in that time, Severin, you went to talk. Take the lead, please. Yes. Um, 
Couple of things that I, uh, well, one thing I wanted to convey kind of out of character. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I do want to say it out loud out of character is that I really wanted to indicate to the rest of the party members that I can take care of myself, that even though uh, they, they are concerned about my health, welfare, safety, future king, blah, 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 um, like, I don't need to be babysat. I wanted to make sure, and I went out and kicked some ass. I don't know how to non-verbally communicate that, but that was what I was trying to do. So... I don't know if there's so, some kind of at, my, maybe insight or something that people could have for that. I will. I so I, I will say, based on the way combat rolled, We're if impressed. anyone if if anyone is unsure of Severin's combat abilities and the ability to protect himself, you can roll an insight with advantage right now. If you don't feel you need to roll, you don't have to roll. Is anyone going to roll? Is my question. No, no, I, no. Nah. See, my like Clover's concern wouldn't be with his combat abilities. It's more that he's gonna kill himself with his stigmata, or just by running off with. Well, oh, so you can so specifically if, if you the stigmata way, can't if, kill me. <laughs> well, I, I would say if you feel that way, you're not you're not upset about you're not unsure about his combat, but his ability to heal others and keep himself alive. You can roll an insight now with advantage. If you okay. have any, if any part of your character is like, I'm unsure if Severin can protect themselves. Now is the time to roll that insight with advantage. Oh, she did it with dis. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on, it's hold okay. On. The you 18 was the higher that. one, so 21 total. Yeah. <laughs> is anyone else rolling that insight? No, yeah, I'm busy I, I think stripping some bodies, man. Zathario would probably I, I take it one step farther. Even. Uh, go ahead, Sasha. I'm sorry to mean to interrupt you. Oh no, I was just stripping the closest body here for their uh, heavy crossbow and looking at him. And, although I needed to stretch my muscles there, man. Uh, maybe give us some warning before you hop off the cart, would you? All right, that's fair. And we will, uh, I will just intercede with uh, Clover's insights as they rolled it. Clover, watching the fight, watching Severin, understanding. Uh, who he is and who Imator is, he may knock himself out, but he's never going to put himself on death's door unless it's in a fight. And nine times out of ten, as long as you fight as a group, you, he'll be fine and you'll be fine. It's those rare cases where the group tries to do a bunch of crazy shit where you think things might unravel. But this is your second fight with the group the first real fight where like life and death mattered so you feel pretty confidently that you could trust severin as long as you keep a watchful eye okay. now that being uh, said or well unsaid <laughs> really because i was trying to uh, uh convey that non-verbally what i want to share verbally is um it's it's become clear to me that uh, I am a clear and present danger to the innocent people in this caravan. I think we should travel alone and not with this group. I think we should separate from Hibble Sibyl and their caravan for their own protection and just travel ourselves. That is well, that is that these, is my proposal. Bibble to the group. babble, bibble babble. Bibble for babble. Oh, hibble yeah. sibble, bibble babble. I cannot keep them straight. They are both <laughs> we got, very we silly names, and I am channeling Mark right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. I, I I will allow everyone to make a character level check. That'll be a D twenty plus your character level in the chat right now to to, to react off of his information. Let's see. So do we type D plus D whatever? Uh, D20 plus three. Do you, oh, do we, oh, there it is. Like the one, two, three. Roll. Oh, oh, Deirdre. Can't win all the time. Roll the net 20. Make sense I rolled the net one. Yo. Two 20s, yeah. Net one team. 
I, I, I presumed that I didn't need to roll since I was the one who was proposing the uh, the option. I, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know like, where this roll is gonna go, but Zath does have something to say about this, so I'll let uh, you go first. Severin, uh, I would like you to roll as well, please. D twenty plus what then? Plus your character level. level. Oh, okay. Oh, I would call this a character four. check. That's a new one, but I'm 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 cool with a seventeen. I rolled plus three, so it's technically an eleven. All right, so, uh, Deirdre and Clover, you're like, what? Leave the caravan, Severin? And you just, you instantly go into panic mode. <laughs> the rest of you, you understand, and Severin, this is you included, you, you okay. understand the, 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 the thought and the care behind it, but you, you also, you don't know where the fuck you're going. And leaving the caravan puts you at a greater risk of... We we Pain could suffering. We could request like you know a map and directions from uh, Bibble Babble yeah, before yeah. we take off. Y yes, but <laughs> but uh, but with this check, you you all everyone but Clover and, and Deirdre, you understand that like just blindly leaving the caravan is almost not certainly to it, it's not to your benefit. It's almost certainly a death sentence because not really? only is Bibble Babble av avoiding human tolls he's picking places that will be uh receptive right to but if we're being watched time. and followed then 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 we are a liability to them and they are a liability to us so i think we get the idea behind what you're saying there severin yes yes but... I, I, just, I just want every i want all the care the players and characters to understand and including you the, the depth of what you're proposing to you could discuss it. I so, do understand uh, I the depth. That doesn't change my proposal, but it does. I I am one hundred percent thinking that this is a party decision. Definitely not a I'm gonna run off and y'all are following me or not situation. I just want to be clear about okay, that. Excellent. So uh, I know Zathariel and Dasha, you both had uh, something you want to say. Uh, give me a the, ahead, uh, Zothario, You go ahead first. You're going to be thinking. Of given leeway um so just based on what zathariel and deirdre have shared with the caravan about who it is we're traveling with these guys are no strangers to danger of their own and like they while they may be targets because of us they're target they're a difficult target to follow like these guys know how to navigate the landscape they know how to help uh you know they're they're not necessarily out for to help us but while we're in their charge, you know, like there, we can more effectively navigate through this world. Um, leaving them is definitely like, it, you know, while it may be altruistic in a sense to them, like to keep them out of danger, we don't necessarily owe them the favor, but they don't need it either. Like these guys are scrappy, like they're a hundred percent fine. Um, we're, we're traveling amongst people who can hold their own. And then one step further, Zathariel just on a personal level is done being like, uh, exasperated by severin and is more just like in line with him now after seeing him fight and seeing how he handles himself like this guy is leading him on such a journey and such an adventure like that we shouldn't leave the caravan but we should press forward and like i, I think that he's just like i don't know what this crazy bastard's gonna do next but i'm here for it <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's yeah, kind of if... hype on severin after this it's like you're still like annoying that he just like charged into battle or whatever but at the end of the day like that was like we're out here like May I know be known not only as the bright song but the battle dancer. <laughs> you know what <laughs> nice. I mean? Like Zathariel's out here for it. And at least, uh, uh, at, at least uh, Severin, you know, whether he's the reluctant king or not, he you can tell he's still gonna lead from the fucking front, right? You know what I mean? Like, right. um, so yes, exactly. Uh, I'm sorry, Zasha, Zasha. You said you had something you wanted to say. I did want to have a response to what Z Zathariel brought up really quick, though, um, which which might also influence Zasha's position. I think, obviously, before we make any decision, I I would want to hear what Bibble Babble had to say because what Zethariel said makes sense. Like, they take this journey, they take these risks, they run these caravans, this is stuff that they encounter. So, yeah, you have a good point that maybe we should ask Bibble Babble if they are comfortable with our uh, the threat that we, we, we present by being part of their caravan or not. I think that's probably the fairest way to do it because I was also going to point out that 
with the assumption that we're being watched, if whoever is watching us is unaware of our leaving the caravan, then that puts the caravan at greater risk for not having us. You're right, and that would mean that we need to be very obvious when we leave, not skink off in the middle of the night, but actually acknowledge the fact that we are taking the target on our backs with us. Right. Excellent. And I think this is a great point to let uh, Zalsha interject with yes. uh, whatever they wanted to say, plus an update. So Zalsha, go ahead, your turn. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of information. Sorry. I think Zasha, hearing everybody starting to talk about this, uh, would just tell Severin, like, hey, look, man, to be quite frank with you, these guys knew what they were taking on. They're bards, they're rogues, they're informants. They know exactly who you are. They know who we are. They took us on anyways. I don't, I don't think leaving them is going to do us any favors, whether it's for their benefit or not. And besides, look at what we just did, as I point out. Feel proud of what this team did. We're, although we're a target, we have more. We have we provide more protection to them than they're going to be able to do on their own. So that is a good point. I think yeah. continuing on with I think continuing on with them is going to be a thing. And as for us as a group here, looking around at everybody, I think we all already chose our path. I wouldn't have left. I wouldn't have left the city. Or left my post if I really didn't well didn't want to be here. Although, to be fair, I think me and you have to have a chat about that at some point down the road because, yeah, yeah. Severn would definitely acknowledge that and be like, yeah, you and I do need to talk about some things. And, uh, take another step closer, not intimidatingly, but just wholeheartedly. I can't have you jumping off the back, running into a group of 50 guys. Your your old friend, Apex, gave me a mission to watch over you, but as you can see, covered in my armor, I can't exactly keep up with you. So you're going to need to give a little bit of leeway in space, or at least give me a heads up so I can help. And give us some heads up next time. Because although we got lucky this time, that was that was not the brightest thinking there, my friend. And trust me, I'm not the best. I'm not the smartest person in the world either. Um, and I guess I uh, you just to respond. To uh, my, you know, the expression on Severin's face is, um, like I like he hears you, but he's not necessarily certain that you're right. <laughs> right like 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 i'm you know yeah. taking into consideration but he's not convinced that he made any mistakes yeah that's that's fine i was, I was just telling you anyways mm -hmm. i continue what i was doing which the guy closest to me just for dm reference i'm grabbing a heavy crossbow and whatever bolts he has um, so if you so the group took a short rest so you can find two heavy crossbows and 35 bolts total um, I'm not doing the math to divide that. So you <laughs> can be done in party chat. Let, let's not get I am, the, the I am a generous the process, DM. <laughs> so at this point, your conversation is is not necessarily Wayne, but you're, you're in agreement that you are a group and need to act as one. And you make your way back towards the caravan, which picks you up easy peasy. And you all notice that the caravan hasn't taken any damage they are fortified and protected these people know what they are doing they are ready for a fight at a moment's notice and yes you did what you thought was right but you also feel like if we had to stay with the caravan we might not have taken any damage so uh -huh. next time maybe we should think about this a little bit more but as the, the day weans on and you make your way uh, further down the path. I uh, before before the caravan continued on, uh, I would want to go up to Bibble Babble and fully disclose my insights from that fight uh, that that I discovered with the whole Sons of Alarim and the obvious fact that they had been uh, watching us and following me and attacked because we were. Uh, with them, I want to know what Bibble Babble 
uh, has to say about our continued presence around his caravan. Or their caravan. Right. Sorry. Um, listen, let's listen. let's do pronouns properly. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, Sirius Severo <laughs> Severed. The fuck is your name? I'm so sorry, sir. Sathara would chime up. It's Severed. You got it right. It's Severed. Severed? S severed. The monk, yes, correct? Yeah, I kind of find it hard to believe, considering my name is the same as the previous king's. That that like somebody would be getting it wrong like that. Um, I, yeah, if it guy, wasn't on purpose, if it wasn't on purpose, he, he is he <laughs> is very obviously being an asshole. Okay, just 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 okay. So we're clear about the context because yeah, <laughs> he is I, 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 did we actually purpose. say this out loud? The whole reason why like we were kind of like yeah you. Joe kind of, like, hid the name of the king in the first couple of episodes just to not reveal that it was the name of my character. But, yeah, the previous name of the, the, the previous king is Severin. I'm named after my father, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. We did not clarify that till right now. Oh. And that was a huge fucking bomb, so <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry. I'm sorry if I. I mean, like that doesn't seem like no, it should have been a a, a a a huge bomb. It should have been something that was established. <laughs> there was a point where I could have specified, and I chose not to because I wanted, I wanted, I kind of wanted it to be a hu a bigger bomb necessary because. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Did I <laughs> drop <laughs> another Moab at the wrong time? I am not the Oppenheimer no, no, you guys want great. me to be, guys. <laughs> I I think I think now with the way Bibble Battle is acting and the fact that your name is your father's name, I think that's this is the perfect moment for it to have happened. Okay, yeah. So, Bibble, so... Bibble Babble will look at you. All right, listen, severed. When we make camp, we can talk. But I, I, I'm driving the caravan. We just got attacked by Marauders. Like. Shut the fuck up, all right? And he's gonna ha and and force the driver to kind of carry on pace to to all right. leave you kind of in, in his dump. I am I am I am satisfied with it's a conversation we can have when we make camp. That makes perfect sense. Excellent. And we are um, on the correct map. This the caravan has made camp for the night, and you have been invited up to the front of the caravan's camp to uh, interact with Bibble Babble and his uh, cohorts. So just a sidebar, like, as we finish the journey on the way to camp, Zathariel would be, like, strolling through, playing, a like, a mocking kind of song about Bibble Babble and his, like, uh, like, the tales of his generosity and kindness have no, like, have not been exaggerated. Like, hey, little Bibble Babble type of thing, just, like, tongue-in-cheek the whole way to camp. Wait, so are you <laughs> saying we're camping me... here next to this shack? No, I think we're uh, you should be next to uh, uh, no you uh, hold you, you still have the wrong scene activated friend there you go, go. <laughs> my, yeah, my apologies so the caravan has found one of the uh, the smaller uh, the more prevalent streams to uh, take camp by and you invite it to Bill Battle's camp uh, Zathario with your song give me an insight check People are actively ignoring you on the caravan, and you can see they're like, I don't want anything to do with you, you're causing trouble for no reason, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, like, Severin is gonna go by the river and just meditate by the bank. Okay. People are uh, actively avoiding me. Yeah, people are, like, trying to not pay attention to your song because they're like, oh, my God, this guy's an asshole. What's he doing? He's trying to get us in trouble. Um, I don't want to take us on too far of a tangent, but did we establish any kind of rapport with the uh, with the group, with the caravan in the six days before our battle? Or was it very much so, like, we were our own thing and they were their own thing? We just happened to be traveling with them. You were part of the caravan, and it, it was mostly the group getting kind of used to each other. Yeah. So you spent. Not, not, it's not that you didn't participate in, in you know caravan activities, but this no, is the first no time you've all traveled out, outside of 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 Alorim, so You're like, hey, we should probably fall like you know eat lunch and breakfast and together and like be kind yeah. of a group. So this is this is your first chance to now that you have kind of uh, become a group to interact with the rest of the caravan. 
Now that the caravan's all gathered together, Clover would like to use Detect Evil and Good on just everybody. Uh, most people are neutral. Bibble Babble is evil. Okay. That's good uh, to know. As you approach uh, Bibble Babble, the front of the, ca the, the camp, and where Bibble Babble and his uh, you know, compatriots are uh, relaxing, you hear him start talking. All right, I got a couple of jokes for y'all. All right, <laughs> let's try some material. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs floating in a body of water? Bob. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bob, yeah, Bob, yeah, Bob. Bob. <laughs> oh, my man. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs sitting in front of your front door? Carol. Uh, nah, yeah. <laughs> What do you call a man with no arms or legs attached to your wall? Art. You call up Art! <laughs> so you got a hole in your wall. So you fill it with a man with no arms or legs. What do you call him? You call him Phil! Hey, what do you call uh, a man with no arms and no legs that you, like, whack with a bat and knock over the wall? Oh, that's a new one. What do you call that guy? Homer. <laughs> <laughs> You, Bibble, the, the excitement from Bibble Babble drains as you tell this inappropriate joke, Severin. But he goes, all right! Uh, and that is that is the scene you approach. The rest of, of Bibble Babble's party is doing their own thing, kind of like hanging around the campfire. And Bibble Babble is just telling these inappropriate jokes. As you approach, he goes, all right, let's talk about dead babies. And I'm not going to tell any dead baby Jeez. jokes, but that's what Bibble Babble's doing. <laughs> I actually have a really good dead baby joke. Oh, I have several, but they're What's... disgusting. And I... I, I have also a really, really bad one that I don't think I will ever tell on the air for any reason whatsoever, but there is one that I would be willing to tell on the air real quick. Real quick. All right, what is the away. difference What is the difference between a 50-gallon drum filled with dead babies and a 1967 uh, Shelby GT uh, uh, Mustang? I don't have a Mustang in my garage. I don't have yes. a Mustang in my garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I have a really bad one, but it is. Um, let's. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, no. Let's, let's, let's... <laughs> Even uh, me, I'm as, not gonna tell you, that one. As you approach, you get the the, the feeling that Bill Babble is a gross, disgusting person. As he's just persons. rattling off these persons. As he's as as they are rattling off these these gross jokes in unison. And as you approach, oh hey. Hey, the adventurers, excellent, excellent, come around the party, talk to me, talk to me. Oh this my god, you I, 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 I love how, how you just channeled you like Fat Albert. Hey, 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 let's talk about dead babies and, and, and quadriplegics. So I, th I feel like this was, I know you went to meditate, but this is probably Severin's moment to have that conversation he said he was going to have with that guy. Right, yeah, and um, I would team. probably actually wait for Bibble Babble to approach me while I'm meditating on the bank. Well, before you got to the bank, he'd probably wave you over and be like, "Come on, come on, you want to talk?" Correct. Bibble Babble is, is a very direct, like in your face kind of person. He's like, "Come on, Severin, you want the fucking talk? Like, let's get this over." I'm trying. Ah, uh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. No, I just, I really, I, and we can fast track it. it. Doesn't have to be heavily RP, but I just want to know what he, what, what their thoughts are on, uh, the danger that our group presents to their caravan. I'm two goblins that make racist jokes. Do you think I really care? Um, I mean, you know, no incident, no incident necessary. He is dead serious. He does not give a f. No, I mean, I hear you, I hear you, but like, you know, it's got to be his choice, right? That's that's all I need to know is that he is making the choice to to be in this danger or not. And if he's making the choice, I'm not going to convince him otherwise. I owe fucking Fimo big, and this erases my debt. So if you leave, I'm gonna fucking follow you, you asshole. Okay, so there you go. You good? So what? <laughs> Man, oh, uh... no, Dibble Babble is a fucking douchebag. I can tell. Like, I can tell. He, he, yeah, he is not about this. So no, uh, I, I, as long as he's basically, you know. I, I guess what it comes down to is informed consent, right? <laughs> as long as I feel like he document? is giving informed consent, then I'm happy to just resume my meditation on the riverbank. 
He doesn't even offer you a handshake. He just goes, you know what? Fucking Jim, Jim, Jim's down by the beach. Go join him. He's a weirdo. You fucking idiot. Jim, and Jim, he... Jim. And he'll look at the rest of the group and be like, so y'all hanging out and, and drinking and playing cards or what's up? So Zap over, like, so I'm kind of for, like standing in a way where I can talk across him to Deirdre. I'd be like, hey, Deirdre, how many halflings does it take to light a candle? Oh, God. I'm not sure. Turns out just one. Apparently, they're good for something. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you hear about the halfling fortune teller who escaped from prison? No. What happened? They became a small medium at large. <laughs> We're you're the clearly. Worst, you're the worst <laughs> fucking bard ever, and your father would fucking cut his dick off if he knew you you were his real son. <laughs> Just barrels right through it. Deirdre, what do you call a goblin with a limp? Sure. A, a gobhoblin. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Like, clearly no. just trying to overshadow with our terrible, innocuous, you, still you, vaguely racially themed jokes. Overshadow them. You, you, you make that joke, and, and then the, the very stout orc gentleman, the boss, at the campfire just goes, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this out of character. I gotta do this out of character, but just because we are doing, like, stupid-ass D&D jokes, I gotta... What does the rogue take... When uh, they try and steal from the barbarian, damage. One d twelve damage. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a loft out of the boss. Let's go. Do you have anything else? What's uh, the difference between it's... a halfling and a dwarf? I don't know. Halflings wear their beards on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the boss is just this foul berserker orc looking uh, guy and he full on is like ha, ha, like slapping his belly just laughing at the top of his lungs where you notice that like a couple people, other people come out and like join this scene and are like interested in what you're saying how do you tell the so, difference like, between a male and a female dwarf the size of their beard. You lift up their beards. <laughs> um, Zath would go next. Uh, let's see. What did we have? What do you call a green hedgehog with tusks? An orcupine. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay, so that, that all these D&D &D dad jokes are great, but we are hitting real close to the end of our uh, time frame tonight. Um, okay, we so are. I... I have one more that I want to tell, and I want to roll performance with it because it's a little <laughs> bit pejorative towards our host. All right, roll, roll, roll your performance, then tell right. your joke. So the joke: What do you call an orc with two brain cells? And then, like, real meaningfully, look over at uh, Bibble Babble. Roll my performance. Two goblins stacked on top of each other. Oh my god, that was a two. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, I do get advantage. Yeah, I get advantage yes. for any rolls made against him. Yeah, so just a d20. Yeah, d20. Yeah, d20 and then plus nine since that's your mod. Or, okay, hold on. I'll just do it like this. It's not another perform. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're still garbage. It's slightly better. <laughs> slightly better. Oh, God. There is a silence that washes over the audience, and you don't know what to take of it. And Bibble Bow looks at you and goes, You racist son of a bitch! And starts slapping his yes! two bellies as he's yes! laughing. And the rest of the group just erupts. And and at this point, you, you realize Bibble Babble isn't a bad guy. He just he pushes those buttons because he knows he can get a laugh out of someone. And he's fucking trying to survive. Like, he's mm -hmm. like, Oh my god, that joke's on my expense? That's fucking great. Um, and with that, that is a great place for us to end our session. Let's go. I mean, I would will... say we still got a good five minutes, but, you know, you want to call it early, here early, DM? I say let's say our good nights. Well, we have some important things that to, to transpire next session, and I want to have enough time for that to happen. Absolutely. We will, we will definitely say our good nights here a little bit early this week, and that's okay. 
Thanks so oh. much for being here, y'all. This was a great one. We Thanks, won our first Chad. fight. Thanks yeah, no, I, I, I loved like how we just that 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 combat was amazing, right? Yeah. Extra jokes, but I'll save them for later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I like I you, we should all just be like, let's have our campfire jokes ready to go when we do our our our, our rests, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, so uh, thank you guys, chat, for being the best part of Sputter Media, our audience. We love you so much. And does anybody have one last thing to say before I cut the stream? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to see somebody less shy than or even more shy than Clover, you can watch our Tuesday show. <laughs> right? Sola, man. <laughs> like the shy one, Clover Where isn't I'm even close, right? Yeah. Oh, it's man. It's saying hi. <laughs> All right, yes, please uh, check out our other show, uh, Cyber Nights, our flagship show, and then look forward to future shows on Sputter Media. I am even talking with another DM right now who wants to uh, uh, get their show up on our platform. So uh, I'm looking forward to the growth, and you guys are the ones helping us make it happen. So thank you for showing up. All right, we love you all. Good night, chat. We, 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 we love chat. All right. Peace.